Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Last episode, we finished off Gina's trial. And now, we're headed, we're hopefully, we'll be able to, like, see off susato son before we leave. Before she leaves, so, let's see. Well, well, quite the indomitable prick purse. Oh, I nearly forgot, I bought a paper outside. It's a special edition. This trial is all over the front page. Pickpock, it's innocence proven. Isn't it wonderful? You should have shown it to Gina, Iris. She would have been thrilled. Oh no, how silly of me. Ah, but anyway, do you like the good news or the bad news? Ugh, not again. Well, what do you say, Uruno? Hurley? As usual, I think I'd rather get the bad news out of the way first. Absolutely not! I have no intention of listening to anything but good news! Where well, there you have it. How people answer that question says a lot about them, doesn't it? Let's not go there. Alright then, let's start with the good news this time. The rain has finally stopped. It was a record level of rainfall, apparently. Well, that is good news indeed! We can journey back in greater comfort! Alright then, then what's the bad news? We are huge summers left, the sea is very choppy. The chat in particular is awful, so sailings out of the Dover have been delayed by a day or more. Wait, Dover? That's right, if we head to the station immediately, we could see Iris. We assume we can type to the wave Susie, I mean, the wave Susie up, yeah. Let's go! Go, go! But. There won't be a train, surely? We would, couldn't be that lucky. Who do you think I am, Mr. Naruhodo? Mr. Sholmes? I rushed to Victoria Station earlier and made an arrangement for your special ex- We are always prepared for everything. We hurry now, or we should be there in time for dinner. And I know for a fine restaurant that serves the most delicious baked soul. I- I don't- the Great detective does it again. Indeed, he does. I have to be aware of the number of drill transfer directors' foibles. What? I merely made my knowledge of him known to the man, and he happily laid on the locomotive elementary. Just an idea, but it might be wise to stop manipulating people that way. Be waiting for then. In London, Victoria. All right, let's go. We we'll see Suzato off, which re really helped me in the case. 18 of April, 5:32 a.m. Port of Dover, Quayside. Hope she's there. It took someone longer than I had anticipated. Seems we both must be about to leave now. Miss Suzato, where are you? Oh, there she is. Over there, look. It looks like she's reading something. What Are you throwing a book? Miss Sasada, wait, what are you doing? M Mr. Mr. Narahodo, what are you doing here? We came as soon as we could after the trial, I mean. I heard that sailings were being delayed due to bad weather, you see. Oh, I... I see. Then, then tell me, how did Gina's trial go? It, it, it went well. She was acquitted. That's wonderful. Really wonderful news. Yeah, it took us like four parts of the trial. <laughs> but I'm glad we... We actually finished it. It was so long. I hate the Skulkin brothers, not gonna lie. The book you were about to throw into the sea. Is... It was the Encyclopedia of British Law, wasn't it? Oh dear. I wasn't hoping you hadn't seen that. I'm not worthy of practicing law in any way now. So, I was saying my final farewell. You were saying goodbye to law? 
you, Susato-san? Would I be correct in assuming? It's because of the people, Miss Susato. Yeah, you kind of like... Messed up with the crime scene, but either way, it, it kind of helped us. Deliberately altered the scene of the crime. And then I tried to hide the fact. What did I did it was utterly unforgivable. Reminds me. How did you even come to have this, Susie? On the evening of the incident, Mr. Shomes had invited Gina to dinner, if you remember. Oh yes, we have had a wonderful time. Well, Gina's gave us a little introductory lesson, didn't she? To the art of pickpocketing, I mean. Oh, that was so much fun. I stole Luno's arm but Is that what you learned from that? Just to steal a goddamn... Yes, please don't do that again, Iris. The band's very important to me. Well, if it is so important, you should pay more attention to it. You didn't notice for ages. On a whim, I thought it'd be, be fun to see if I could take the cat club mat, so I put it on my sleeve. Really? And then I rather forgot about it until I found myself in Mr. Winbeck's shop with it later that night. Uh, I see. And then... The Skulkin Brothers. Ah, Mr. Sholmes, Mr. Sholmes! Leave me, Mr. Naruhodo! Right. After Mr. Naruto and I left the shop, I started to think that door started to play on my mind. The storeroom door, you mean? Yes, if Gina was anywhere in the shop, I realized it could be only behind that door. And at that moment, the little device I had up my sleeve sprang to mind. I was so worried about Gina, I simply had to know. So, you use the capsule map to make the people in the door. As captioned the photograph print but of the shop by one of Hurley's red-handed recorders. Indeed, it was one of the first importance at that point. Precisely when the paper was made, the info would have been proved Mr. Naruto's greatest weapon. Though naturally without proof, it would have mounted to nothing. But when I looked through the hole in the door, yeah, the sight of that met my eyes, made my blood, blood run cold. Thoughts started to run through my mind. I remember that trial two months earlier. The trial of Magnus McGilded. I thought about how he manipulated the evidence and arranged false testimony to secure his freedom. It made the British justice system feel very dark and sinister to me. And then a terrible thought occurred to me. What if, what if some wicked criminal was planning to do the same thing now? Because from the appearance of the crime scene, it would look exactly as though Gina had shot Mr. Windebank. Even though I was sure she'd never have done such a thing. You were worried that the true culprit would try to frame her for the crime? That's right, but then I realized... It would be very difficult for anyone to give false testimony in this case. What do you mean? Well, the crime appeared to have happened behind the door of a locked room. If someone had claimed falsely to have witnessed it, there would have been a way to see beyond the door. Ah. So that's why the people was created. Someone to expose that. For which a people would be the very same very thing. To expose the logic in the people of the of the of the witness's testimony. It's very good indeed. Only the people I had made wasn't actually there until after the crime had been committed, of course. And the criminal would know that, so it wouldn't make any difference. But the possibility rather ingenious trap was there, was it not? A, a trap? Is that why she did it? So, is that why you kept it a secret, Susie? You never mentioned that to the people, to anyone. Not even to the police. I know. I knew at the time I knew what I was doing was wrong. A criminal offense, even. That's why I decided to confine in Mr. Sholmes. If Mr. Naruhoda was completely backed into the corner, with no other possible means of escape, the troop about the people could save him. That was my plan. She really does think of everything. But, but, but then, why didn't you just tell me everything before the trial began? My dear fellow, you're not thinking straight. 
If she hadn't done that, it would have been rendered you complicit in the whole escapade. Ah. You could have been disbarred if you hadn't seemed to know having you kn knowingly tampered with the crime scene. So Mrs. Sao decided to shoulder to burn up the responsibility alone for your sake Ms. and Mr. Strayed. Mrs. Sada. The truth is, when it happened, I did it because I'd lost a little of my faith in the law. Oh? I was worried that the right person would have been convicted of the crime. In the moment I allowed myself to think that, is the moment I lost my right to call myself a judicial assistant. What did you? Is it did isn't comparable to what he did. Graydon's the one who lied in the witness stand using that people as a way to implicate Gina. And besides, if the people inconsistency hadn't existed, I'm not at all sure that she would have been acquitted in the en end. Mr. Sato, what you did saved Gina's life. Yeah, it actually kind of saved me. Because we were losing more evidence. Well, with your kind words, Mr. Naruhoto. You've saved me too from my regrets. Well, what happens now? Well, we must be all thankful that Mr. Strade's freedom has been assured. Yes, exactly. Although some of the loose ends in that trial will continue to play on my mind for sure, that's for sure. But the revelation in the music box is to contain secret message, Mr. Hodo. What a triumph to work that out. I'm full of admiration. Well, actually, that argument wasn't quite as compelling as I thought it was. Oh, it wasn't? There was a communications officer among the jury members, you see, a telegraph operator. And she said that the majority of the sounds of the disc were just meaningless tones. As one would expect. After all, we were talking about the secret government communications. No doubt they were written in cipher to avoid being readily understood should they have been intercepted. I in cipher? I I see. So then, we can never have hope to understand the message anyway? Nonsense, my dear fellow. It is quite a zero-pipe problem, I assure you. Uh... Uh... So... G? Uh, what? Well, that can't be a real word, can it? How funny. Wait, Iris, what did you, did you just say? What? A soji? Um, I just said a soji. Does that word mean something to you? Means something. A soji was the name of my best friend. What? But how? How do you know that name, Iris? I wrote it down during the trial before when the message was playing on the music. You were deciphering the message? Damn. She transcribed it on the fly? She really is a genius. I thought that the message wouldn't probably be written out in plain Morse code. So I tried various ways to interpret it. Whatever I tried, the words didn't seem to make any sense. That is, in English at least. English? Oh? It suddenly occurred to me, you see. There's more to it than one Morse code, not just the English variety. Various countries around the world have altered and added to Morse code to use in their own ang languages. I, I don't believe it. Are you sane? That's right. I've only seen a chart of Japanese Morse code once before. Wow. But I think it's based on Iroha Pangaram, is it? Isn't it? You mean to say it's in Japanese Morse code? Message says a sogi? Yes, I think so. Sorry, but I don't remember all the Japanese Morse code. Iris, would you let me see that? Mr. Sato, do you know it? Do you know Japanese Norse code? Yes, I spent some time studying it. Because I'm quite sure most code will become ever more important for international communications. Then might I recommend, my dear madam, you focus on the efforts on the English version? Be that as in May. Iris, show me the message, please. Of course. What's in? What is this Morse code? I'm. But. But. What can this possibly mean? 
Whatever is in that long sequence of supposedly meaningless dots and dashes, it's made up the color drained from Usado's face. There's no doubt that this message is written in Japanese Morse code. So the British Empire has been using Japanese for its secret communications? I don't understand the reason why, but the message appeared to be a list of four people's names. Four names? The first is K. Sogi. Kazuma Sogi? Kazuma Sogi. Why? Why was his name on that disc? The second is A. Shin. A. Shin? Shin? I don't recognize that name. The third is T. Gregson. Gregson? Greg Gregson? Ah, it would seem Tobias Gregson is the third man on the list. And what's his name doing a secret government communication as well? Well, he was looking for the disc. Music box. And the last name. What's the matter, Mrs. Sato? It's it's just so strange, so ne unexpected. What is it? What is it? Oh, what is it, Susie? Don't keep us in suspense. The last name is J. Wilson. John Wilson? What, Nani? Wilson? John H. Wilson? You mean Daddy? Oh no. And he died, didn't he? Due to poison. And Cosma died too. Only well, says Jay Wilson, so I'm afraid I can't be sure. Then after the four names, it reads, if I translate from Japanese, that is all four. And that is the end of the message, or rather, the end of the what you noted down, Iris. Oh shoot. Kazuma Sogi. Well, he died, of course, but a Russian pusher. Damn Russian girl pusher. Wilson died in the first case, which caused me to go to Great Britain with Kazuma. Oh my god. Who's. Who is Shin? Who. Is Gregson gonna get targeted soon? Is he gonna die? I just can't believe it. It looks like a kill list. Who would ever have thought that the, these discs contain Japanese Morse code? Not to mention a strange list of disturbingly familiar names. It would appear that this particular message is a communication of some kind between Great Britain and the Empire of Japan. So daddy could be in Japan then? Where, where Susie and Uno come from? Oh well. Hmm. No, it's not very likely, really, is it? I mean, there are thousands of people with the surname Wilson, and there must be lots of J's among them. Are you sure about that? Professor John H. Wilson visiting Professor Medicine at the U Imperial Yume University. Well, we can't tell Iris about that now, we just can't. So strange, somehow, in solving the case of the Mr. Windebank's murder today, I feel like I rolled back a boulder at the mouth of a very dark cave. I do wonder if perhaps it's a dark cave we shouldn't have gone all wandering inside. Well. Oh dear, the ship is going to set sail soon. Yes, it seems so. I'll sail on that steam sh ship first on the port of Dunkirk in France. Then I'll change into a larger passenger vessel for bound for Japan. Where are they going then, Susie? We wish you a very safe passage, Musasato. Thank you so much. I wish you all the very best. Mrs. Sato? Mrs. Sato! I, I had hoped you were always at my side to guide me and support me. Mr. Narahodo, please, come back soon. As far as I'm concerned, you really are the very best judicial assistant in the world. 
Hell yeah. Um, I'm, I'm quite sure I'll be back before you know it. Really, Susie? Oh, now you don't forget, Iris. I made you a promise I've yet to fulfill. Promise? The Hound of the Baskervilles. Not your manuscript. Uh, oh yes, the Hound of the Baskervilles. Oh, I'll be waiting for you then, Susie. A promise is a promise. Definitely, Iris. Well, Mr. Narahodo? Yes? Do you remember the first time we met? Yes, of course. In the SS Furia, when I was dragged out from that wardrobe, but still half asleep. If I remember rightly, you threw me across the cabin with a suicidal takedown. You know very well I'm talking about after that. It's strange, but being thrown together as we were in that case, I felt somehow... I somehow felt straight away that you were the perfect person to continue Kazuma-sama's legacy. Mrs. Sato. My instincts are right. I really want to believe. No, I'm sure that... I'll be back soon. Farewell until then. Well, I guess it is time to say goodbye. Oh, anime cutscene. これで。なるほど、龍之介。最初の冒険の物語はおしまいだ。思えば不思議な運命に導かれてここまで来たような気がする。僕は弁護士になって異国の町で名探偵と出会った。Trials and tribulation. It's the game I've yet to play in Phoenix, right? But I will play it. Sholmes, why do you have the violin? <laughs> For fuck's sake, Sholmes. Well, it is what it is, though. Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Naruhodo! What is it, Sholmes? Yes, Mr. Sholmes? I have some rather awkward news! The railway company has decided to sue over the Special Express train, apparently! Huh? It caused such a commotion on the line, all the other trains are had to wait at stations. But really, we would have never made it to Dover in the time otherwise. Anyway, I explained everything and how it was all your f What? What? My fault? How is it my fault? The fuck? Huh? Huh? Leave a former complaint should be delivered in your office tomorrow. But don't worry, my dear fellow, going to Mrs. Sato. You love defending yourself in court. Huh? 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 <laughs> what is going on? What the hell is going on? It's alright, I'm perfectly happy to testify. He really didn't look like the sort of man who done something do something out there, just see. I I have no words. You guys threw me under the bus. Um, Mr. Sholmes. Yes. A word, if you don't mind. <laughs> Why, certainly, any word you like. Bell it up, my dear fellow. Oh, yes, I love Luno's words. I know just the one who use here. Then, you must say... Objection! Yeah. 
I say it's one of the better games of 2021 that I've played so far. Although I need to play the second game. In the following weeks, hundreds of music boxes arrived in Baker Street all over Europe. Something was afoot, though it transpired I had ordered them all myself. So I advertised them with a sale with, used by Mr. Jones to solve an important case. And the, and the money I've earned to consult the detective work pays a pittance by comparison. Yeah. I can't wait to play the second game, but I don't know if I could finish it. You know? It took me a month and a half to complete this first game. Uh, I haven't slept a wink. The manuscript is due tomorrow now. When I'm this busy, Hurley usually cooks me breakfast. Well, cooked it is an omer statement. Some dry toast and insipid coffee. I do miss Susie and her lovely Japanese breakfast. Oh, this guy. Hey, witness! Your testimony is riddled with con contradictions! Exactly! Rarely do Koban coins hide under their rare sticks themselves. Oh, I know Noza! Noza's father is an innocent man! Are you calling my son a liar? Witnesses, my courtroom is no place for your petty arguments. Ah, uh, yes, from the first case. When delivered the Russian dancer short in Shanghai, I laid on the steamship for a while. But last night, I apprehended an extremely suspicious Japanese national on board. I've done it! I'm nothing wrong! All I did was wag a high offspring refuge in my cop pocket! A man brings some kittens on board and suddenly he's a hardened criminal! It's not fair! This guy. <laughs> From case 4. We'll see how this the next game turns out. Scientific investigation will be the gold standard for the policy of a new age. I dream of a new world governed by the tenets of order and discipline. Like the great clock, in fact, whose hundreds of partial mess should get in fear for unison. Now, if you excuse me, I have two minutes and thirty-seven seconds until my next appointment. Strong heart. I have a feeling we're gonna see more of this guy. Because of course he is like, you know, the leader of, of the British law. Uh, the latest Rats magazine's out, and I'm in it again. Whenever I say I'm that one line she wrote now, I get a standing ovation. You want to hear it? <laughs> Not bad, I suppose, for an amateur. Gawk, gawk, gawk. <laughs> As he drinks tea. Huh. Her ladyship puts me to shame. Well, I have a feeling I don't know what's gonna happen to Gregson, but I hope he doesn't get killed. But then again, I'm raising more flags than I could ever think of right now, so. Friend visiting the old girl on a daily basis, of course. Joining my old jail bear. Must say, battling with those badly stairs every day has wonderful and wonders for a dicky peg. Managing water well for the housework, too. Got my business taped up, I say. Hope the gossiping neighbors don't realize the man's up in the house that is own made. Ah, uh, yes. This guy. I didn't think he'd be part of the jury in, the la in, in that case. Oh, these two. I really he's back on the beat again. Thanks to the Reaper. Uh, that thing that my mom enjoyed these days of hunting out small chains in the gutter. I'm a better Bobby now, looking up a Londoner's surf, dropping her pennies with my lovely wife. Oh, pet. Oh, Rolly. Oh, God. Uh. I was wondering, during, during Case 4 investigation, who were those two guys that I spotted? Looks like I'm gonna be doing time for a bit now. But Iris comes every day for Anata, so it ain't too boring. She's always going on about the um, cases what Shalom's is looking into. Criminal investigations are kind of interesting when you get into them. I guess Gina's still in jail. 
serving time, I guess. For perjury, of course. Yes, I renounce my upbringing again. Chose a life of sophisticated crime, but regrets. Please. There, nah, over here. Yeah, over here, brother. Hey, Dash, we knew. We got a plan to block the cumber mirror to turn smoke and milk from, ain't it? The Bree Muskin Watsits. Milk in the neighborhood for what's it worth. Uh, I hate the Skulkin brothers. <laughs> they deserve the death sentence for all those perjuries of during case number five. God, they perjured so much during that case. This past six months has been a time I should remember forevermore. Painful goodbyes and wonderful encounters. I've come to realize what life is all about. Naruhoto san, I promise. Your senses will return to you one day. But for now, I leave you with many memories and a heartfelt wish that life will treat you well. Well, we'll see how long she'll come back. Or when our next case is going to be, at least. Ooh, a picture. Well, that's gonna be my thumbnail for this episode. Well then, it's been a fun ride for this first game. We'll play the second game soon, but I will say, it's a very unique game. It's Cosmo. It's a walking simulator. They're showing the English VAs, of course. It's all the British VAs. <laughs> to be honest, the reason why I didn't want to do English, it's because like I'm not. I, I don't hate British voice acting. I just felt like British voice acting wasn't my kind of thing, you know. But with like Xenoblade and all, it's an exception, I guess. But like, I'm not too fond of British voice acting. I'm more fond of like. My, of, our country's voice acting, which is of course, which is in USA, of course. But yeah, we'll pl we'll play the second game. I don't know when though. It will take like probably another month to finish. There's still many projects I gotta consider along the way, like the Kurunokaseki game still needs to be translated and finished. I mean, Colonel Kaseki Zero Field Translation still needs to be finished. We're going to be playing that, but the problem is, like, it's going to... They said their progress right now is side quest of Chapter 1. I'm like, uh, dang it, we're not going to finish it by this year. They're not going to finish this year, are they? I'm like, I can't count it as a 2021 game, at least, so... Oh, wait, Kazuma, no! It's because he died. To the rush... To the pusher... Damn you, Russian girl pusher! How long the credits is? Hopefully, it's not too long. At least, let me check real quick. How long is the actual credits? Come on, this YouTube's being a real pain over right now. Eh, ads. I actually, I hate how I can't skip ads in YouTube. Like, I used to skip ads in YouTube. You have to believe me. 
Like, when I used to watch YouTube videos, I can always skip the ads. But now I just can't skip them. I have to endure, like, one-minute ads. Or, like, 15-second ads. Like, I hate ads. Like, don't get me wrong, I hate ads. If you guys see ads in my video, note the fact that it is. It's probably because of copyright claims. Or the fact that I'm not even, like, in the YouTube Partner Program yet. But don't worry, I'll get to the YouTube Partner Program. Not this year, but maybe next year. We're, the road to a thousand is slow, but we're getting there at least. Because I can play a variety of mini games, of course. For those wondering, I am not going to be playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels game. It does sound kind of like... I don't know. Rush? <laughs> no, it... Like, I'm not good at Yu-Gi-Oh! games because, like, long descriptions. Because they're not my sort of game, game because, like, I usually don't like card games with, like, very complicated descriptions where I don't understand. So, that's that, too. Looking at the credits right now, it's uh, I believe up to four minutes. God damn, the phone is loud right now. As the time of recording this, I heard that Colleen is voicing Tales for the Sonic movie. That's good for her. Like, she's been Tails for, a, like, a number of projects in past Sonic games, and now she gets to voice the movie. Like, that's a pog moment there. Yeah. So we finished the first game. The Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Hopefully we get to play the second well, game too. Hmm. Good drive here, right? Are, are you subjective over right? here? Alright guys. I think that'll be it for today's episode. So next time on the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Or yeah, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're gonna be playing the second game, The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve. And I guess I'll see you guys all next time.